Okay, so next up is this fall one. This is a six by nine. And these two you guys have already seen, So, but I still will do a quick flip through of these two. Um, so here we go, six by nine, um, pretty lace. I love this lace. It just reminds me of like grandma, grandma's apron or something. I don't know. <laughs> So how I love these buttons that I got at Michael's forever ago. That is like my, I don't, why do I say that all the time, forever ago? Anyway, a long time ago, um, and it really didn't need a closure, but I just thought it looked so cute with this paper collection that I just, I just put it here. I sewed it on there, hand stitched it on there because I don't have a sewing machine. Um, and I just used some seam binding that wraps around. Um, I have a eyelet in the back that's kind of threaded through and tied. So if you don't like it, you can take it off. And then I have this pretty little leaf charm, again from Melly, that hangs on there. And so to cover the string, I just punched a couple of layers of um, pattern paper and cardstock to make that little circle. I don't even have a cut, um, any tags in the pocket but there's the pocket um i did add some lace on some of the pages a little tag here i need a cut a uh, tag somewhere don't i have a okay here i have a tag here yeah so i left this one open here a little bit and i did a little stamping off camera okay I love the stencil with the leaves A little tuck spot here this you can use as a tuck spot as well and it's the envelope and then there's the stencil on the back doily I put a little piece of crocheted lace on the edge. A little stamping here. Um, I hand stitched some fabric sample right there. I thought it looked really nice with this collection. Like, perfect. <laughs> Just perfect. Added some lace here. A little owl stamp. And it didn't dry all the way, so you have a little bit of a mask of it right here, which I think is kind of cool. I didn't even realize it until I finished. I thought it was dry. Added a little pumpkin stamp. Some little um, coffee dyed stationery that I just thought looked really cute. Some stencil. You know, just the norm little um, piece of lace here. These little heart stamps that Melly sent me. They look like patchwork quilts and it just seemed like it just went perfectly with it. So, little glassine um, bag with a doily and a little die cut. And so, there's a couple of um, cut aparts in here. more paper and on the edge I have little leaves that I kind of stamped right side up and upside down some more crocheted lace on the edges A little bird stamp little tree stamp here little tuck spots oh I didn't I left that as like a little booklet doily pumpkin stamp little piece of um 
diaphragm here and then here's the back and so there's the back so that's this one and then let's just do a quick flip through of these two babies it's so cute I love them I forgot to put a charm on this one but I will put a um a charm on here now that I have a bunch of charms um, this one has a charm it says live your dream again I use uh, I guess this is jute or twine this is different than this one this one is more um, I don't know this one is more ragged <laughs> I don't know how to describe it um, I don't know I don't know you guys what you call these let me know if you know so I have some rosette trim on the edges so mad I don't have any more of this rosette trim um, but I bought that years ago um, when I was in Cali at Joann's I think so this one has two pockets it has um, one here and then it has one here which is not all the way down so it's like a tiny oh, sorry it's like a tiny pocket because I thought it would be a little difficult to go through here, but I guess not. I guess it would have worked. Next time. Next time. We'll see how these little ones do um, in my shop. I only have two up. I have another one that I have not um, posted yet, but you guys have seen it. So we'll see how these do. And if people like them, then I'll make some more because the little ones are so cute. I love the little ones. Even though I can never write at them because my handwriting is too big. I thought I had something inside, but I don't. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, like I said, all the journals, including the little ones, will come with a little goodie bag um, of journal cards and tags. There's a little, do I have anything in that one? Nope, nothing in there. little button here. I love the little ones. They are just so cute. I don't know what it is about them, but they are so cute. So these are, I didn't even tell you what size this are. I'm so sorry. These are three and a half by five and a half. Um, so I believe they will fit in the, and I could be wrong by the name. So I'm so sorry if I am, because I'm not like, um, really experience with the names of all the travel notebooks but I think the pocket size and the field note size or the passport size and the field note size I don't know you guys but the little small ones <laughs> the little small ones this one has a pocket in the back as well and then here's the back I did. I do have a paper with it written down, but of course it's not in here. It's in my craft room. So here's the other one. This one is so cute as well. I love the muslin. I'm in love with muslin. Thank you, Chris, because you gave me this a long time ago. I think I was supposed to make flowers or something with it. I don't even remember why you gave it to me, but I love it. And I like to use it to wrap the journals and to put on tags. I just love how it looks. So cute to me. But anyway, this one doesn't, this is the only one that doesn't have trim on the edges, I think. But this one has a pocket in the back. Um, I just love it. I think it's so adorable. So I'm just gonna slide this off because it's just easier. So inside this one, it has a pocket here. Why am I off camera? I'm like, this is little. There's no reason for me to off, be off camera. And a pocket here. So, see, it did work on this one. These were supposed to be like my little prototypes, but they, they actually came out cute. So, at least I think they came out cute. Um, yeah, because these are so small, I just wanted to have more room to make, I mean, to journal. So I, I didn't want to cut them, cut the pages, so I folded. And these are um, rub-ons. I was trying to use up rub-ons that I had forever. Um, here I go with my forever ago. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. But um, 
yeah and I just thought that the rub-ons looked so nice with this paper so there's a little tag in this coin pocket a little tag clipped on there and again some coffee dye paper that's folded another rub-on another rub-on Another tag clipped on, some more rub-ons. All of these are rub-ons. I didn't do any stamping, I don't think, in this one at all. Just another folded page. Another rub-on. journal card and this one was really long so I just folded it twice and it has a stencil on it I don't know if you can see it. it's really faint so you can journal right over it so adorable I love these little ones I don't know what it is but I love how cute they are and so here's the back I have a bunch of little teeny tiny bags a little journal card that goes back here and that's it so all five will be up available for you guys who are interested thank you so much for you guys support even though I've only had one sale so far um, a lot of you have favored my shop and favored some of the items that I have in my shop and I and I just appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting throughout when I post on IG um, I just I just appreciate you all so 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 much you have no idea so that's it you guys thank you so much for watching and I will be back with more and working on more every day all right you guys until next time bye